Hey guys, Leno here from PlayToEarn.net. We are now into November, and with a new month comes a new set of roadmap milestones that blockchain gaming projects have to meet. Some involve small updates, new events, while some are launching the game full on. In this video, we'll be talking about 5 games that have something going on this November. So without further ado, here are 5 Play to Earn games to watch this November of 2022. To start off our list, we have The Sandbox. The Sandbox is a metaverse platform that is being built on Ethereum and Polygon. The Sandbox is a community-driven platform where creators can monetize voxel assets and gaming experiences on the blockchain. Players can own a part of the virtual world metaverse where they can build their own creative games on virtual land. The main NFTs in the Sandbox is Land. Land is a digital piece of real estate in the Sandbox metaverse that players can buy to build experiences on top of. Once you own a land, you will be able to populate it with games and assets. Each land is a unique non-fungible token lying on the blockchain. Players use an avatar to interact with the metaverse. An avatar is an in-game voxel representation of a player, which may be modified piece by piece by the owner. An avatar has certain specifications and format and comes with a default set of animations such as walking, running, jumping, and fighting. An avatar can be modifiable piece by piece, such as helmet, arms, torso, legs, and more, by equipping it with different compatible asset tokens. The main gameplay players can expect in the sandbox is social experiences where they can interact with other players in the metaverse. Players can also build and craft their own experiences in games using tools within the game, like the Sandbox Game Maker, and players can explore and adventure into other lands created in the world. The Sandbox blockchain gaming platform consists of three integrated products that together provide a comprehensive experience for user-generated content production. The combined products further benefit users by allowing them to secure copyright ownership for their user-created content through blockchain and smart contracts. The platform also features VoxEdit, a free 3D voxel modeling and NFT creation package, and an in-game marketplace where players can upload, publish, and sell their NFT creations made with VoxEdit. Why should you keep an eye on the sandbox this November? Renowned Italian fashion house Gucci is launching its own virtual space called Gucci Vault Land in the sandbox realm. From October 27th to November 9th, users with a sandbox account can hop into this experimental virtual concept store and experience the vault at 360 degrees through a compelling storyline. Those who complete in-game quests will also stand a chance to win sand tokens. The next game on our list is Crypto Unicorns. Crypto Unicorns is a digital pet collecting and farming game built on the Polygon blockchain. In this game, players can collect, raise and breed unicorns, build farms to grow crops and craft materials, and play unicorn games like racing and jousting. The main game mode in Crypto Unicorns is the farming simulation. If players want to access that part of the game, they'll need to own a land NFT. Land NFTs have three rarities, Common Land, Rare Land, and Mythic Land. Players can play with just land NFTs, but there are certain perks when a unicorn is working on the farm. Unicorns can have one of nine classes. A few examples are Heart, Flower, Omnom, Crystal, and Moon. Unicorns also have stats that decide its power, speed, endurance, and intelligence. Each farm has four key features. Farm slots where you can go class berries used for crafting, workshop where you can craft more advanced materials using basic resources, nursery where the unicorns breed and evolve, and stables where you can see all your unicorns. Farms also have rarities which decide what berries you can grow. Basic farms can only grow one class of berry, while mythic farms have a chance to grow every type. Unicorns can be staked in the workshop to craft materials you grow on the farm, and players can also send their unicorns out on gathering quests to get even more materials. There are also game modes that only require unicorns. These modes are jousting, racing, and battling. These are where the unicorn stats come into play. The game has two tokens. Rainbow is the governance token with a fixed supply of 1 billion. It is used for staking and breeding. Unicorn Milk is the other in-game token used mainly to breed and evolve unicorns. It can be earned by competing in events and tournaments and is burned upon use. Why should you keep an eye on Crypto Unicorns this November? They recently released quests and their fall event which features special items, three new seeds, and more. The event has players gather cornucopias in order to earn points necessary for milestones and for climbing up the leaderboard. The event will end at some point in December and give out rewards. For more info, you can check out their website. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Phantom Galaxies. Phantom Galaxies is an RPG sci-fi shooter game being built on Polygon. In Phantom Galaxies, players use their mecha starfighters, which come in different forms, to explore the open world, follow the storyline, defeat enemies, and have a chance to earn rewards. Phantom Galaxies combines open-world space sim with fast-paced mech shooter and a storyline players can immerse in. The story follows the factions of Neo Terra fighting a dangerous alien foe called the Shikari. Players can choose their own transforming mecha starfighter that depends on their playstyle. These mechs are also the main NFTs and will be the main way players interact with the game. The four classes are Lancer, Buster, Assault, and Breacher. As they progress more in the game, players will be able to upgrade their mechs to unlock specializations, allowing them to experiment and fine-tune the perfect starfighter setup for each combat scenario. Players can go on missions that follow the storyline and learn more about the universe. 
There will also be quests along the way, which are side missions that tell more about the stories in the game. There are also operations, which are repetitive tasks players can do on a daily and weekly basis to get rewards. And finally, there are raids, which are PvE challenges in the game requiring players to help each other to defeat the enemy. There will also be PvP modes like Arena PvP, where there will be team and free-for-all modes players can compete in, and guild versus guild modes to decide owners of frontier space. During combat, the game is played in a third-person action shooter perspective. Why should you keep an eye on Phantom Galaxies this November? Phantom Galaxies is launching its long-awaited Astro Fight Rush event on November 4th at 12am UTC. The event will kick off the player and mechanics in the game, as players get to earn Astrofer, the primary reward token of Phantom Galaxies, for the very first time. For more information, check out the official post here. The next game on our list is Genopets. Genopets is a move to an MMORPG being built on Solana. In this game, players use their Genopets, which are digital spirit animals that evolve with daily activity, to stay active, earn rewards, and traverse the Genoverse. Genopets is the first move to earn mobile RPG that rewards players for exercising their bodies, minds, and spirits by taking care of their digital familiars. The game transforms physical movement and cognitive exertion into in-game progression, which in turn also develops the Genopet NFTs they own. As they develop, players can also customize their Genopets to their liking to be more in tune with them. The game will also feature a battle arena. This is where players can compete with their reaction times, memory, and overall cognitive skills through various turn-based minigames. There is a play for keeps mode where the winner will keep the wagered items with their opponents. Players can earn by selling their Genopet NFTs in the marketplace. The game's token, Kai, can be earned by activity and used to craft special items or upgrade players' existing Genopets. Players can also sell the Kai they have to other players who need them more. Players just need to summon their Genopets when the game launches to start trading their sweat for crypto. They recently introduced a game mechanics update last September, bringing benefits to Genesis Genopet owners, adding harvest efficiency for guild habitats, and adjusting the step efficiency factor. Why should you keep an eye on Genopets this November? Genopets recently announced the launch of the Genoverse, which is a new realm where Genopets and players may explore digital land plots. No info about the launch date has been disclosed yet, but the introduction of the product will be as part of Tessera, a specific marketing center dedicated to presenting and promoting Web3 and Metaverse technologies. And the last game on our list is Sunflower Land. Sunflower Land is an RPG farming simulation game being built on Polygon. In Sunflower Land, players can farm, gather, cook, raise animals, fish, craft, and trade NFTs with a chance to earn rewards by playing. In Sunflower Land, players can collect and trade over 200 in-game tokens and NFTs that exist on the Polygon blockchain. Since these assets are NFTs, they're also tradable on marketplaces like OpenSea, and the token is available for exchange on QuickSwap. The game features several activities, and if you played other farming simulators in the past like Farmville and Stardew Valley, you'll already be familiar with these. Players can plant and harvest different crops with varying times of growth. A few examples are potatoes, carrots, parsnips, and of course the game's namesake sunflowers. With the resources players collect by chopping wood and mining rocks, they can also craft rare items that are also NFTs and can further provide boosts to their gameplay. Players can also grow chickens to harvest eggs. Other animals they can raise are cows, bees, and sheep, which will in turn get produce of that animal. And there's a goblin village players can visit for a range of gameplay features like trading items, deliveries, liquidity, and even buying rare NFTs. The goblins are players' gateway to decentralized protocols on the blockchain. Coming soon to the game are bumpkin NFTs, which are dynamic NFTs along with fishing and land expansion. Why should you keep an eye on Sunflower Land this November? The Sunflower Land team has unveiled that more players will be able to join the public beta of the blockchain farming tile in November this year, though this time it is currently unclear as to how many more beta spots they will allow. Those who are interested in securing a spot should register via email on the game's official website. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. I hope this list helped you out if you're looking for games to add to your watch list that have stuff going on this November. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.